So the first test of the curve here today and a little bit of a road trip. Creswell, here we come. Meeting the guys there, Grant, Savio, John, Andy. Russell's coming up, Russell who is there, just getting some flight, so he's mad keen for it. Sweet, sweet sunshine and a cross offshore wind of about 20 miles an hour. What more can you ask for? So you head down into Crescent, do it left at the bottom there and you come past this drift cafe and it's just your first right here at the car park. So the Curve H is a wonderful looking foil. I can't wait to get on it today and see how it performs. Well, sit back and enjoy the video and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. And he's on his new 85 litre board and on a 5 metre wing and on a 6 metre wing because of the new foil. So I was super stoked I could get away with a six meter where I'd usually use a seven.
So back from Creswell, magic day. Honestly, I love it up at Creswell. The water is so clear. It's like a turquoise blue. It's just so lovely to be somewhere so nice makes change, you know. It's only about 40 minutes away from where we are in Seaburn, so it's not that far to travel, but it's a nice wave as well in the winter um, when we start getting the swells coming back. So there'll be a few trips up there, I think. Back to the Curve H. So the Curve H, I had a go on it today for the first time. I must be honest, I was a little bit nervous. There was no need because it was such an easy foil to ride so that 8.5 aspect was a little bit higher than I'm used to but it was not a problem it was so attainable it's such an easy foil to ride the reel to reel of it just glided from one reel to the other it was just really really nice and such an easy step up from the fluids I've been using it was just as easy to ride as a fluid it just had that little bit more speed for the first time ever I was catching Andy and Andy's normally just always pulls away from me that little bit I can't quite catch him and then when I dropped in on the little tiny bumps they were only about a foot but it's still gliding I could feel that as I was riding along those bumps which I thought was just magic really so and the stab and the short fuse that I got well the stab was really good It'd be really interested to try that out with my other foils that I have and see how it livens them up I've not had a chance to do that yet because I was just so excited being on the curve that I didn't do any swapping around even though I planned to so it's windy tomorrow so hopefully I'm going to get out tomorrow and I might try a few tomorrow or I might just stay on the curve all day because it's just so much fun you know but if you think about getting one and you've got your jibes down and you can get up quite easily in light winds then it's easily attainable for anybody it is a little bit harder to get up in the light winds you do have have to pump that little bit more you have to put a little a few more pumps in you have to put a little bit more energy in to get up in the lower winds now I was out in about oh it was about 12 to 15 mile an hour at first but then after a little while it picked up to a good 15 plus and then I could get up straight away I didn't have any issues whatsoever with getting up the brakes had been taken off and it was just so much easier to glide through my jives loads and loads of time and things like that yet yeah, definitely recommend it to somebody who is in the intermediate Immediate stages and has been using say the fluids or the curved tees um, I've, I've went from riding curved tees for the last four or five sessions to jump it on this hitch and had no problem whatsoever it was literally just 10 minutes when it was really really light wind that I struggled to get up onto foil but that was below 15 knots and I'm 95 kilos so there's quite a bit of weight there to lift so anyway I'm gonna pack up now I'm gonna get sorted sort my gear up because we're hopefully getting down the beach again tomorrow this and I've still got the curve the new 2023 curve to come i'm waiting for that still from gong it should arrive in a, in a week or 10 days or something like that now so i'm looking forward to that coming that's the new one with the aspect ratio i think it's about seven and a half i think so it'd be interesting to see how the curve 2023 compares to the curve t versions that i've been using over the last few months and see if that gives you more glide so i hope you've enjoyed the video a little update on the fish tanks i know a few people have been asking i have lost a few fish i lost um, one of the plex from the bottom he died off and I've lost a hatchet fish that I've not been able to replace nowhere sells them at the moment so it's a bit of a nightmare so I'm keeping me out of one of them it's a marble that I've got and I want to replace that one so I might get some more Corridoras as you can see the plants are doing quite well and you can see here that this lotus that I've got here which is my favorite one of my favorite plants and I've got a new rainbow fish in there that's really small at the moment it's an Australian rainbow fish and hopefully that will color up over the next few months well if you've got this far thank you very much for watching all the way through i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you all on the next one take care and good wins